we're going to have people tell us that we can't do shit. They say, dream big. They say, you could be anything you want. We all go through this. We all go through the process of trying to figure out how to become what it is we want to become. And when we're little, we're encouraged to become great. But once we get to a certain age, for some reason, the script changes. And the people who supported us now are telling us that we shouldn't think like that. I've never understood that about society. I've never understood why that is. I've never understood why people are encouraged to dream big and then the same people come around and discourage us to not dream at all so that we could be more like them, so that we could be realistic, we could be practical, we can be average. I don't think that's right. I don't agree with that. And to be completely fucking honest, I remember every single comment that has ever been made to me about not dreaming big. I remember every single comment that has ever been made to me about not achieving my goals. People who say these things, you need to be realistic. You'll never be able to do that. And let me ask you something. When people make comments that hurt you, why do they hurt you? Because people are poking on that very sensitive area that you know is the fucking truth. You have to learn how to react to criticism. You have to learn how to take criticism and look at yourself and say, you know what? They got a fucking point. And use it as an opportunity to improve. Use it as an opportunity to get better and stronger and faster and smarter and more productive. But most people can't do that because they get so caught up in their little delicate feelings getting hurt that they can't see that what that person said has a lot of truth to it. They can't see that what that person said is actually an opportunity for you to get closer to your goals. If you commit to a diet, if you commit to a goal that you want to become healthier, if you want to lose 20 pounds, if you commit to it until it becomes a lifestyle, you won't even look at it anymore as a diet. You'll simply look at it as it's a lifestyle. It starts with committing first. You have to commit and once you commit to it, and you actually prove to yourself that you can do it, not anybody else, to yourself that you can do it, then it becomes a lifestyle and it becomes part of your life. And it's who you are. It's what you represent. It's what you stand for. When you walk into a room, it's the presence that you bring in.